The early 2000s was filled with developers pushing out a bunch of games centered around only children. Remember, this is back when kids didn't just play Fortnite and Minecraft. In early 2011, Activision released Skylanders Spyro's Adventure, which acted as a successor game to reboot the Spyro franchise. It was an instant success due to the innovative play style of incorporating toys and video games. So what went wrong? Well, if you didn't hear, Activision published it. We got Skylanders games back to back for six years. Literally, the shelves in every video game aisle were ugly for like four years. You walk into Target, you have to like climb over all these figures. If you go to Walmart, you're just gonna see ripped open packages everywhere from the ghetto ass kids that wanted to steal them. These figures started to annoy customers because eventually they didn't know what the hell to do with these. Because once a new Skylanders game came out, it's not like they got rid of all the inventory from the past game. They kept them there. So every single game would just stack on top of one another.